On 22nd November 2016, at 5.59 a.m. local time, the magnitude 7.4 earthquake occurs at around 37 km from Fukushima, Japan. No deaths or major damage were reported. The Japan Meteorological Agency, GMAs, mentioned that today's quake is an aftershock of the 2011 Matitus 9 earthquake which kills more than 15,000 people and destroyed the Fukushima Daiichi nuclear power plant. Therefore, another lot of earthquake could be expected within the next few days. Moreover, GMA has issued a tsunami warning at 9.45 a.m. on the same day. The warning allowed for the possibility of waves of up to 3 meters along the country's northeast Pacific coast. But the highest recorded wave of 1.4 meters were observed at Sandai's port shortly after 8 a.m. Who says nuclear plant operator TEPCO reported that it observed a tsunami at 6.34 a.m. Japan time at Onohama port. The meteorological agency says it observed a 60-centimeter tsunami. The earthquake and the tsunami warning system automatically issues alerts via television and cell phones shortly after the first less harmful shock wave were detected providing time for many people to prepare for the more powerful shock wave that follows. It also costs many energy and industrial facilities and transportation service to shut down automatically. So, today we will discuss more about this system. What is an earthquake early warning are Kinkyo's Shinshi Sokuho in Japanese. The earthquake early warning system revised as when announcements of the estimated seismic intensities and expected arrival time of principal motions. These estimations are based on prompt analysis of the focus and magnitudes of the earthquake using waves from data observed by seismograph near the epicenters. There are 4,235 seismometers in total throughout Japan. When two or three seismometers detect B waves, 
GMAs immediately analyze the readings and predicts the rules area of the earthquake epicenter, then distributes the warning information to advanced users such as broadcasting station and mobile phone companies before the arrivals of S-Ways. The earthquake early warning is aimed at mitigating earthquake-related damage by allowing countermeasures such as a broadly slowing downstream, controlling elevators to avoid danger, and enabling people to quickly protect themselves in various environments such as factories, offices, houses, and near cliffs. However, the earthquake early warning also has some limitations, such as timing. The window of time from the announcement of an earthquake early warning until the arrival of the main trace is very short. For example, a master of seconds, or between several seconds and a few tens of seconds. In areas that are close to the focus of the earthquake, the warning may not be transmitted before strong stress more hit. False alarms. When using data from only one seismograph, false earthquake early warning may occur as a result of noise from accidents, lightning, or device failure. Magnitude estimations. There are limits to the accuracy of estimating magnitudes, especially for large earthquakes. It is difficult to separate earthquakes and provide accurate warning when multiple earthquakes occur almost simultaneously or in close proximity to each other. Seismic intensity estimation. There are limits to the accuracy of estimating seismic intensity by statistical antennation formula, as well as limits to the predictions of land surface amplifications. And what is an the tsunami warning or the tsunami advisory? When an earthquake occurs, GMA estimates the possibility of tsunami generations from seismic observation data if disastrous waves are expected in coastal region, GMAs issues a tsunami warning or tsunami advisory for each reason expected to be effective based on estimated tsunami haste. GMAs also issues information on tsunami details such as estimated arrival time and haste. GMAs monitor tsunami as offshore ghosts and issues information based on their measurements along with estimated haste in the coastal area before tsunami hits the coast. Then, warnings are updated, probably if tsunami is expected to be higher than initially estimated. GMA issues tsunami warnings are Tsunami advisories in five classes in relation to damage based on estimated tsunami haze is over 10 meter, 5 to 10 meter, 3 to 5 meter, 1 to 3 meter, and 0.2 to 1 meter. After issuing tsunami warning, GMAs issues tsunami information indicating the arrival times and haste of tsunami of shores offshore and along coast life. When the major tsunami warning or tsunami warnings is in effect, an offshore tsunami appears much smaller than estimated. GMAs use the phrase "currently observing" rather than actual values to keep people aware that higher ways may still approach. Following is the flows of insurance of information about tsunami and earthquakes by GMAs. Immediately one and a half minutes after occurrence of the earthquake, seismic intensity information issues including reasons with seismic intensity 3 or raters. Three minutes after occurrence of the earthquake, 
earthquake informations, including hypocenter and magnitudes it provided, as well as tsunami warning or the tsunami advisory alert. During periods from three to five minutes after occurrence of the earthquake, GMA issues tsunami information, including high tide time, automatic arrival time, and haste at each place. Finally, when getting all analysis from monitors data, the information on seismic intensity as each site as well as the tsunami information from observation as offshore gauges are provided. As the conclusions, Japan has been famous as not only one of the world's most seismically active regions, with approximately 100,000 earthquakes every year, but also a home to the most sophisticated disaster technology. Earthquake and tsunami early warning systems play a major role in saving human lives and reduce economic losses caused due to natural disasters. And it gave time for people living on this area to escape to higher road, protecting themselves from falling objects and stopping trains before they are overtaken by the events. Thank you for watching.